Welcome to day 248 of the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we're going to pick an area of confidence that we want to improve and we're going to apply the SOAP framework to it. Starting tomorrow, we'll do the S, the O, the A, and the B, the four-step process that helps you make sure that any challenge, any situation that you face, uh, you make the best choice and take the right action for you. The best thing the best way to handle it at the time, given the time, given what you know, etc. We're going to run through that process. I've been helping people to install this process in their subconscious since 2020, and I've done the same to myself. And it's made a huge difference in terms of how I handle the stuff that comes up in our life, especially the things that we don't have control over. How do we handle those? How do we deal with those? How do we make sure we're doing what's best for us? And how do we make sure we do it automatically so we don't have to think about it and make ourselves do it every time, right? So how do we come up with an area of our life, especially with respect to confidence, since we're focusing on confidence goals this month, that we want to improve? First thing we do is we take a little journey down self-awareness lane and we ask ourselves, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? Now, sometimes a lot of people will tell you to build on your weaknesses, fix your weaknesses, correct the things that you're not great at. And I usually coach and say just the opposite for myself as well as for the people that I interact with and the people that I coach and mentor. Building on our strengths will always get us light years faster the things that we want than trying to correct or fix our weaknesses. Because guess what? A lot of the times, things that people think are our weaknesses are actually our strengths. And things that are our strengths, if we build on them, will create more strengths in our life and we'll, we'll get better results faster than if we try to fix what other people think is broken. Because chances are, if we thought it was broken in ourselves, we would have already fixed it. It was something that was important to us. So we want to identify our strengths and weaknesses and then say, well, yeah, people think that's a weakness, but I don't really think so. I think my vulnerability is a strength. I think my directness and my honesty is a strength, even though other people get upset with me for being straightforward, vulnerable, direct, and honest. Those things are my strengths, although other people might consider them weaknesses. That's their challenge, not yours. So we want to come up with some ideas. What would be some ideas? Maybe develop self-esteem or improve our self-esteem, improve our ability to speak in public. We could improve communication skills. Be, and maybe it, we just need a little more confidence to believe in ourselves in order to present in public or speak in public. Uh, maybe you want to learn how to do live videos for your audience. Maybe you want to create an audience and you need more confidence to do that because you feel like you're not ahead of the people you want to serve enough in order to lead them yet. That's a confidence issue. It's not an expertise or knowledge issue, hardly ever. Uh, think about uh, continuous learning and things that you want to learn and improve that if you just have a little more confidence, you would do them. My niece is going to para become a paralegal. She's 30, in her mid 30s for sure. She just had a birthday. Or no, she's got a birthday this week. She's got a birthday Thursday. What am I thinking? She's got a birthday Thursday in her mid-30s. And she's like, my life isn't going the way I want it to. I, she was working in computers and online world. And she's like, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to do something that fits for me in a way that I can help and give back. And so she's going to paralegal school. That takes confidence to go back to school in your 30s and say, I want to take a different direction with my life. That takes a ton of self-esteem and confidence. Uh, Maybe you want to develop a support system or you need more of a support system, people outside of you, a mastermind, a coaching group, a mentorship program, a maybe you just need one good friend to help build your confidence. So pick one thing today. We're going to pick one thing. I don't know what mine's going to be yet. You can see mine is blank. What's yours? Mine is blank. So pick the one area of confidence you want to improve. We're going to apply the SOAP framework starting tomorrow. But today, commit to it by sharing it in the comments below. I will do the same as soon as I come up with what mine's going to be. I don't know what mine's going to be yet. I have some ideas, but I'll, I'll share it in the comments below. So if you want to know, you have to check it out. Or of course, you know I'm going to talk about it for the next four days. All right, that's it. Any questions about this, ask. Hit me up. One of the easiest things to do is brainstorm. And as you go about your day, notice situations where you don't, you don't, you don't do something, you don't say something, you don't speak up because you don't feel confident enough to do that. And chances are, if it came, comes up today, it's something that you want to address. So that can become your area that we're gonna solve starting tomorrow. All right, have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.